Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So a couple of changes from where, I guess, where I ended last week in that Sharana sent me a save file from the latest version of the scenario where he's kindly enough um, played through the first couple of hours for me. So I ended it right before 1600 local time and now we're at 1625 local time. A um, couple of other things he did. It looks like still have most of the aircraft on station. It looks like I just have the one AEW. I don't. I had a second one up over northern Israel. Um, the other thing he did is that all the F-16s that were available and but were not armed, he went ahead and started arming. And just going to hit play and Now I wonder what happens in a case like that. I'll take a look after the stream of art. That sounds really interesting. Hopefully nobody w was in that second F-16 though. So we got two Hurons up and then just the one AEW. I'm going to order the second one up here just to go onto the AEW mission. A couple of things that Sharana, or additional things that Sharana pointed out after the stream is some of the ground units that we have up here include some Lynx MLRS launchers that he say actually plays a role later on in the scenario. Let's just go up to 5X here. Include a U-2 at 1,000 feet right over it. 10,000 feet over the enemy terror. All right, I can take it. You lose one U-2 due to it flying at 10,000 feet, and nobody will let you hear the end of it. Um, I was looking to see if we had any satellites... Looks like it's going to be a while yet before our next satellite pass. So it looks like the F-16s that were ready, or that were available, oh, special message. Commander, we've just received an urgent report from Mossad. Yeah, pause time. From Mossad, they suggest that the Syrian IADS network is actually completed and fully functioning with all five systems online. Even now, there are still unconfirmed reports that there are Protivnik. GEEW radar deployed in the Damascus North area. 
if it is operational, that will be really bad news for our F-35s. They also shared that they have high ranking, that they have a high ranking guy on the inside and will use all of their available assets to try and get access to the secured IADS network. That doesn't sound good at all. Um, but where I started to go, it looks like he armed the F-16s that were ready available here at Hazarim with harms. And more SDBs. And... Nevadam. I think those F-35s were always available, but maybe not. Tankers are already. Nothing else available there. Ramon, looks like we have F 16s with SDB. Rampage, which I think are air to ground missiles. Yep. And more harms. Spice 1000s. And more GBU 39 STBs. Opta. Just has one F 16. Ready to go right now, anyway. Stop flipping into bases and just keeps pausing. Asset is disposable, but if you harm our guy. <laughs> oh no, nothing too much going on right now. Um, okay, nothing assigned to the air defense mission. Okay, not sure what was going on there with a the special message. All right, there we go. Commander Mossad has just reported that they have located a shipment of man pads for Hezbollah in Lebanon. They will be moved again soon, so this is time sensitive target with very high priority. We need to take it. We need to take it out within the next thirty minutes. Weapons release was authorized by the cabinet. So it's slow time here, and let the target show up. What do we have available? Babeways sounds good. Send our other Huron north. Oh, don't even have to go look for the target. There it is. But I will still move the Huron north over Sidon. Good point, Stardagger. The U2 thing gives me cover for not... <laughs> 
<laughs> so no one will remember uh, Bagram getting nuked. Alright, so there's our target warehouse. Truth be told, only one of those F-16s should actually be needed. I wonder if we're meant to have a couple of F-16s just in the air at all times for all these little minor side conting contingency missions. And to answer your question, Sonophorium, I believe the cheese board is the uh, long-range search radar for the SA-20. The fire control radar is the tombstone. a lot of SA-22s though. Where's our F-16s? They are 480 knots heading north. That's not the actual name that I believe that's the NATO code name for it. I believe the Russian designation for it is the 96L6E. <clears throat> Say twenty there. Cheese board, cheese board. There. So there's three radars, or three SA twenties. There's another one. So that's four batteries. And I believe there's one more SA twenty area right there. So when the time comes, our MRS 
MLRS are just within range of a couple of those SA20 batteries. Oh, I say a couple, I mean one. It's also got some radars in range. Oh, it's like going anywhere because I have it paused. What are two paveways? And bombs away. And target destroyed. I think we go back up to 15 speed.
Mm, looks like we'll get another satellite pass here shortly. Let's go a little faster here. <clears throat> oh, pause. All right, there's our SAM, or satellite pass at the SAMs. I don't think there's too much new. Although it does look like it fills in a couple of these ones up over here. So I don't know what those three are. My guess is that all three of these ones with the three next to them are gadflies. And the five... Do you have any other targets with the five aim point? Not that I'm seeing, so I don't know what those, the ones with the five aim points are. Nope, six, that's S2, or SA5s. SA22. Right now, Nashmi, I can't enter Syrian airspace. That's what the red area is. It's a no-fly zone. Commander, the cabinet just informed us that the negotiations are failing. Military action is a very real possibility now. And we are ordered to begin preparations for Operation Broken Shield 300. The IAF will shortly begin to recall all off-duty personnel back to their squadrons. Soon, we should have more, more assets transferred under your command when additional crews and planes are available. Alright, so they haven't been chalked to my command yet. Oh, sorry, uh, Sonoforium. Let me slow down here real quick. So the numbers next to a unit icon on the top, well, let's zoom out here. So on the top left, this one I'm assuming is what you're talking about. That is the number of aim points within this one mobile unit. So like there's six in this SA-20 battery. There's seven aim points in this SA-20 battery. Why is there a different? That's weird. I don't know why I would have one more aim point, but there's seven in that SA-20 battery. There's, let's find something that's not an SA-20. Um, this SA-22 only has one aim point.
Another message. Granted, we just had a, one of our satellites over the target area. Don't think that really told me anything I didn't already know. There's another satellite pass. Okay. We did learn something that time, though. There's another SA-20 battery. And an SA-11. I think we knew about those already, though. So whenever this mission props or pops, it's probably going to be really short, with only time for one round of strikes. I see, right now I'm not doing much of anything other than observing. Okay, whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down, I wish it paused. Okay, Commander, additional assets are now being transferred under your R command for Operation Broken Shield 300. They are currently being prepared for combat missions. Thought I saw another message too. All right, so what are we going to have? Another satellite pass. Mm, still not seeing a whole lot of aircraft being readied. Um, there's some. I'm going to be really disappointed if we have all of these maintenance unavailable aircraft that don't get shocked to my command. Don't know what happened with Broken Shield 299. Or either of the other preceding 
Battle, we have another message from Assad. Commander, we just got the coordinates of the current Syrian Air Defense HQ in Damascus from Assad. Based on the current reports, we believe that taking it out will severely degrade the Syrian EW capabilities and will cut the stationary SAMs out of the secured IADS network. Okay, that's good to know. Now, where is it? Right there. Syrian Air Defense HQ. Oh, and would you look at that? It's just in range of my artillery batteries. I see a plan coming together here. Yeah, comes up, comes up, pack. My plan right now consists of fi fire the artillery batteries at the Syrian Air Defense HQ. Oh, just a target. Pass with the satellite. Okay. Commander, we were just informed by the cabinet that the negotiations in the Kremlin have practically failed. Our delegation led by the Prime Minister is staying only in order to buy us some more time for preparations and to try and fool the others that we might stand down. Final decision about initiating Operation Broken Shield 300 will be made within an hour. As of now, the Israeli Defense Forces are on full alert and are already, recall, and are already recalling reservists. The IAF's mobilized assets will soon be combat ready as well, but most will stay as operational reserve in case something goes wrong or Hezbollah causes us more troubles than anticipated. So only part of the additional assets were transferred under our command. That's disappointing. I want everything. Don't have a lot going. Well, we actually got quite a bit there at Ramon. Nevitam. Looks like we're only going to have four F 35s. Are going to have some additional tankers. That'll be nice. Hoping the Syrian Air Force isn't planning on fighting because we don't have a whole lot of air to air assets at all. Well, I'll rephrase purely air to air assets. That's a good point. The Syrian Air, Descent, Air Defense Bunker is underground. So what do our MRS have? Uh, good point. Three zero one A alternative warhead. Uh, 
Hmm. I may do a small salvo just to see what happens. Can't hurt. Be a satellite pass. Commander Operation Broken Shield 300 is initiated and standing by planes are clear for takeoff. Final confirmation by the Prime Minister authorizing the strikes is expected within 30 minutes. Till then, we are not to release weapons or violate Syrian airspace. Also, as you know, our citizens are very sensitive about casualties and prisoners of war, so it is critical that we recover all pilots in case they eject before they are captured. Having their faces as POW on medias like SANA and RT will be political fiasco for the cabinet. We have now four CSR teams from Unit 669 standing by at Tel Naf. Making sure they are protected after they cross into Syria will be very important, as losing an entire combat search and rescue team in enemy territory will be a national tragedy. Okay. So it sounds like we're good to go now. So time to at least begin launching support assets. So first things first. Up over here. These like all reference points. Define rectangle. That will be refueling. Hi, Dimitri. Perfect timing. Just about ready to kick things off here. I'm going to put two 707 320 tankers on station to start. I'm going to put a, I don't know if the special electronic missions aircraft act is actually going to do anything, but might as well get one up anyway. And I will save the rest of the tankers for now. Tell them off. Where's our search and rescue team? Be the super stallions or the sea stallions. Offensive ECM. Do these ones have in flight refueling? Nope, they cannot in-flight refuel. All right, that's good to know.
probably should be using this time to launch aircraft, but given the relatively short legs of the F-16, I'm going to hold off. And we're going to have plenty of time. goes the tankers manually order the electronics aircraft north satellite pass don't think it's going to tell us anything useful this pass. Um, I will hold off there. Harm sky shields. So do we have... What's our primary targets here? I don't think we have any specific targets in Syria. I think everything is free game. All right, I'm gonna start by clearing out the Syrian SC or Syrian IADS. So, where? Okay, so first things up, F-35s. Assign them to the rally mission to the north. Hint, Commander, as down pilots need to be rescued as soon as possible before they get captured. It's a good idea to keep at least one combat search and rescue unit within its air cover on airborne alert close to the border with Syria. Tankers can extend the time on station. I don't think they can refuel them. Pretty sure I just... I know I just looked at this. They don't have in-flight refueling on the Israeli sea stallions. But I guess we'll see. That being said, we have four sea stallions with offensive OECM. And another four, or I'm sorry, that was four with OECM and four with troops on board. So that to me spells that we should have one of each on station.
So launch one of each. And I probably want a pair of eagles up too. Sparrows or Amrams? Don't have that many Amrams to go around, so spare. Um, no, we'll go with Amrams. Sign so there for a moment. All right, so my personal way of managing things is that I have a rally mission for every type. So I've set up a suppression of enemy air defenses rally mission. I've set up a air-to-air -air warfare fighter rally mission, and I've set up a combat search and rescue rally mission. And the reason I do that is that it makes things easier to find. And I prefer to manually control my aircraft. Otherwise, I could set up like a air-to-air -air warfare patrol mission. But if any air-to-air -air engagement's going to be needed, I'm going to do it manually. <clears throat> Lots of SA-20s too, Pixel. I am expecting something closer to getting my face pummeled rather than a repeat of the Bacab Valley.
Commander, there is a top secret message coming in from in for you from the head of the Mossad. Their Sever Warfare Division is standing by to launch an attack on the secured IDS network. Due to the nature of the planned virus, only one system can be taken out. You can pick from Damascus North, Damascus East, and T4, as those are the systems containing S3 or as those are the systems containing S300. The Sever attack will be available under special actions after the operation is authorized by the Prime Minister, but be beware, we will be revealing a weakness in the Russian IADS network for them to be fixed and exposing a very advanced virus that was developed together with the NSA, CIA, and MI6. Such an action from our side will have consequences, so 500 points will be subtracted. So it's not a freebie. So what do you guys think? Do we take out one of their networks or do we keep the 500 points? Uh, World War II, I don't... No. I have 750 points right now. But I've only blown up some warehouses and rescued a team in Gaza. Commander, we were just authorized by the Prime Minister to execute Operation Broken Shield 300. Weapon release is free. You now have new special actions available. Mossad Cyber Warfare Division is standing by to attack the IDS network if you order them to. You can also request additional assets be transferred under our command for use. Alright, so let's go see what's available first. Request additional assets. You can request additional assets to be transferred under our command. You should consider that only in case of emergency, however, because taking planes from operational reserve will degrade our ability to counter Syrian ground forces or Hezbollah should any of them try to retaliate against us. 3,000 scoring points will be subtracted. Whoa. Okay. That's not something we want to be doing just because we feel like it. Um, violate Jordanian airspace. You can violate Jordanian airspace in order to gain a tactical advantage. The cabinet authorized such an action should you consider it necessary to achieve our goals, but it'll also have political ramifications that are to be considered and the decision shouldn't be taken lightly. 750 points will be subtracted. So, the cyber attack would disrupt the Damascus East hub of the secured IADS network. All SAMs in that area will be cut out of the Syrian IADS network and will operate independently, each of their own sensors only. Such an attack will be revealing a weak spot in the Russian IADS network for them to fix and exposing a very advanced virus developed together with the NSA, blah, 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 blah. Such an, such an action from our side will have consequences for us, so 1,500 points will be subtracted. <clears throat> wow that's uh not nearly as brutal as the request additional assets but uh 
I think for now, what do you guys think? Do we lose 3,000? Do we lose, not 3,000 points, do we lose 15,000 or not 15,000, 1,500 points? I will leave the decision up to you in chat. Because right now I think I'm in the let's do it. The S300 is nothing to sneer at. And there are a lot of S300 batteries here. Spent Brass 45 because it's not entirely free reign for our F35s. One, we only have four available, which are currently transiting to their rally point. And... The other thing is, I believe there's at least a couple of radars that they have that can spot the F-35. In theory, anyway. Alright, I'm going to turn off Sentinel-2, and I'm going to turn off the merge range circles... So let's look Damascus. Okay, so we're already within range of all the S300s. Um, Wish there was a show enemy range signals only option. I have to bring that up to Dimitri. Um, but let's see here. All right, well, if nobody spent brass, no. This is Israel only. All right, well, if nobody has anything else to say about it, I think I'm going to go ahead and execute the cyber attack. <clears throat> All right, I will do it as soon as the F-16, or not F-16, F-35s are on station. I mean, the fact of the matter is I'm already actually within range of the S300 batteries. And let's see. I know it's an underground bunker, but let's see if the MLRS can actually damage the bunker. So I'm going to fire four from each of my... Oh, they just have extra. So I'll use just the alternative warhead from the first battery I just fired. Don't have the range on that. 
see what else is within range that we can hit with our MLRS here. Is that S300? The S300 is within range, so let's fire a salvo at that. Fire six missiles. Guppo, our F-35s are actually armed with small diameter bombs. So we don't even actually have to enter um, the Syrian airspace. All right, missile launch from somewhere. Ooh, getting somebody to expel lots of missiles. I'm okay with that. And doesn't look like we actually did any damage, and... I do consider this to be cheating a little bit. Alright, doesn't look like we actually did any damage to... Yeah, we didn't do any damage with the uh, MLR MLRS on the HQs, H on the Air Defense HQ. Where to talk, Kushan? Although, looks like we just took out a three S three hundred battery. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, let's see. Um, S-75. S-200, S-200, S-125, some radars. Out of weapons range. Is there anything that is... So just out of range of quite a bit, but we, what's those ammo bunker and a building? MLRS probably isn't going to do much against those. Um, so I'm going to move this one a little closer. And have a little bit more range with the second battery. Sample tune SA eight. All right, so we can only take out that one S three hundred battery from with the artillery. Mm. But what is that? Do we have emissions from that? Oh, there is another SA twenty within range. So, fire six at the second one. Be nice if I could take out all those S three hundreds around Damascus. All 
All right, F-15Ds are on station. Where's my tankers at? Okay, they're not quite on station yet. And there's another S300 battery down. What is firing from over here? Oh, it's the SA-22. I don't think I can get that second battery, can I? Nope, still out of range of that one. Let's see if we can move within range. Where do I have to go? About six nautical miles? I can do that. How far is that? Right there, satellite pass. Oh, we're gonna see the new road mechanics at work here. So gonna go up where it's the slope is accessible. Probably only need to go there though. I'll have to do that. Just need to get it within range of that other S300 battery. And... Oh, I was setting up a strike fighter rally point, wasn't I? Sidewinders and sparrows. Let's get one more pair cap up all right so no f-16s there nothing to go at Tel Aviv Lots of UAVs that aren't accessible. All right, I think most of our F-16s are down here in the south. Keep them for contingency operations. Just gonna go ahead and launch everything now. Should have done this already, but oh well. Um, start out with the Lilas. Or no, that's the wrong mission. Yeah, SED rally go the Lilas and SDBs. My SCAD rally, I'm going to rename it to just Strike Rally. And let's get more harms up. What's the Spice 1000? I'm unfamiliar with that. Um, range of 35 nautical miles. Mark 83, 1000 pound, general purpose bomb. Warhead. Huh, okay. Seems like the Spice 1000 is kind of like, maybe not their equivalent with the SDB, but similar. And I'm going to keep the JDAMs. Well, 
launches group, launches group. What's the rampage? Rampage has a range of 90 nautical miles. We can use that. I'm going to use everything standoff that I can. Um. should put I think everything up now other oh I missed some all right so I think the only thing that leaves is anything using the joint direct attack munitions I will save them in case I have to do any more contingencies. Which, from the sounds of it, that may be a thing. Strike rally... We don't need the Blackhawks, F-15 eyes. Sign the mission, strike rally, launches group, launches group. I think this is the last one. I think there's anybody else. Um, I should get more tankers up. I'll keep one 707 in reserve. Uh, spent brass, if you're talking about mass ordnance penetrators, I do not. In fact, I don't know if Israel has mops. Paveways. J Dams, keep all those, keep the paveways. Okay. They're already launching. And that's all UAVs. Okay. I think that's everybody now. And while the strikes are taking off, I'm gonna get the artillery into range. If I could take out that last S300 around Damascus, that would be great. I don't think I'm going to get the artillery in far enough to get that battery right there, or that one. But if I could at least knock out that one. Strikes, where's the F-35s at? They are on station now. Perfect. 
unassign this group. So that group is going to do what? I think that group's going to go after. Th yeah. That group's going to go after that SA20 battery. What do we got? 16 GPUs. Maybe I'll use this group for both of them. And this second group gets unassigned from the mission. And this is the one that's going to close to go after the air defense HQ. We're actually already within range of that, but let's close a little bit more. The strike's taking off. I'm going to rework this to go south and then turn towards the 300. Already in a range of the SA5 anyway. Now the real test is that SA2 guideline going to be able to see my F35s? Probably not. We'll go with four. There's the STBs and pull back. Um, something I didn't look at is Griffin laser guided bomb, six nautical miles. We will save those for later if I need them. They have a 500 pound penetrating warhead. So if we have to go after a bunker, that's what we're gonna wanna use. But what I was looking for, where's my UAV base? Do I have anything with offensive jamming? Area surveillance. Offensive ECM. That's what I want. Launch three individually. And for right now, just assign them. I'll assign them manually. I'm going to spread them out. Somebody's firing at the... Oh. Oh, look at that. We found an SA-3 by accident. Okay. We're going to make that SA-3 pay for firing on my STBs, though. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to make both... No, you guys, they're not firing at you. Change their doctrine. Air ops. Oh, 
Automatic evasion, no. What the hell? They were at like 10,000 feet. Two SDVs there, turn, and fire three. Firing a lot of missiles for not a lot of hits on my bombs. Although it does look like they are going to get the strike, though. Okay, that would be my drones coming up now. Select one. You move there, select two, move there. Perfect. Okay. Oh, got another. Another SA6 battery. Well, that's a little annoying. But they're not firing at my F-35, so <laughs> let's close in. <laughs> oh, I know STW. That was more of... Yeah, I was hoping to get the... Um air defense sector, but I also wasn't banking on it. Oh, and I lost one of my F-35s to something. Oh, it's because they were flying right over something. Crap. Alright, alright. Fall back, just... Ignore under evasion, yes. Um, automatic evasion, no. Your best chance is to just get away. Well, that was annoying. But also what I deserve. Okay, somebody's firing. Okay, they're firing at my other group of F-35s now. So, unload. At the... Air Defense HQ, and then you can go to Military Power. Oh, except they didn't fire everything. I did it too quick. All right, 
now they can turn and run away. Yeah, those missiles are way off. Yeah, don't, except don't fly over. This wave may actually get through to the bunker. Oh, no, nope, there's another battery. Looks like an SA-3. Yep, just keep firing at the first two. Say 22 is firing now. As long as they're firing on those first. Okay. Now let's see if we can, are close enough in where. Go! Go! Damn. Commander, we believe the Syrian Air Defense HQ is now out of action. All stationary SAMs and EW radars should be cut out of the Syrian IADS network and operate independently. Well, that was worth it. And since they only have one left... Might as well fire all eight at the SA-6 and fire more at the SA-3. I hate wasting SDBs like that, but my lone F-35 is stands like no chance to get through. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting that pilot back. Oh, I still have one SDB left. How did that happen? All right. So don't RTB yet. Let's at least get you out of hostile territory. I screwed that up. But at least I got the Air Defense HQ. That's what matters. And MLRS should now be within range. Let's make sure I'm looking at the right target first. That group's not quite within range yet. And I believe that group is within range. Now, I don't think this particular group stands a chance of getting through, but...
that's gonna be a wasted SDP wave too. Those aren't gonna get through to anything. I may get one through. It's interesting that the SA-6 is firing at this group and not firing at the group of missiles coming right at it. Yeah, that battery got taken out. Probably took out the fire control radars. Wonder why the SA-11 isn't firing. All right. Go missiles, go, go. They may make it. I think they're gonna make it. Oh, there's one I lost. Oh, didn't quite take it out. Didn't quite take it out. One left. But the good news is that the little second thing below means that I've lost contact with the radar. Which means I probably destroyed at least the two search or the radar. And I wonder if I got the tombstone as well. That'd be nice. That's the case. I think that's a mission kill at least. Um it depends STW. Um I think because I destroyed the HQ bunker, I believe that means that each of these radars now is operating basically in comms isolation, which means it it's not getting radars um, information from other platforms if that wasn't in place then yeah all of these could be firing although I don't know if that works if the, if the fire control radar is gone then I don't think it can fire even if it is receiving search information from another platform but again that's not always the case either because some missiles can be targeted by a different platform. Alright, what's on station? F-35. That group can just go home. F-15D is just hanging out. 12 Spice 1000s. All right, so these 1,000 pound warheads. All right, we're gonna go for those two Iranian bases. So I'm gonna send Oh, where's... I think I left a drone back at base, too. This drone can go... Let's put it to the north. 
and activate its OECM. And before I forget, let's activate on, on the other two. Okay. They have harms. Okay. Unassign these three. We're going to loop this group around to the north, and then they'll turn in. Son of Orion, in theory, the, air, the Syrians have an air force, but... Um... To my knowledge, they don't fly very much. And I think they actually only have a couple of air bases in this scenario anyway. So I doubt there's any air to air in this. Although I do have some air to air assets, so maybe there is. You know, I wish Command actually simulated that. Well, I guess depending on the doctrine, you could. If you had um, SAM batteries with their doctrine set to just fire at everything, and then if they were comms isolated, then yeah, they probably could fire on friendlies in that case. As long as they weren't on the same side. Well, maybe even then. I don't, well, I don't know. I don't know if comms isolation would, would still prevent it from firing because the game inherently knows that, say, fighters were on the same side as the sand batteries. Alright. This group... I've got two groups of harm armed F-16s with a group of F-16s armed with Spice 1000s. The Spice 1000s are going for the Iranian Manufacturing Facility number 5 and the Iranian Ammo Shelter. Actually, I don't think I'm going to even go for the Iranian Ammo Shelter. Um, maybe I'll, I'll actually, I'm going to do this a little differently going to change my mind there. I'm going to redirect this group. I'm going to do this. I'm going to circle around. I'm going to go for the Iranian military base over here. So we have Sam's. Eh, it's probably a little deep for just three. Um, now let's go back to the original plan. <clears throat> it's the range on the spice one thousands anyway. Range is thirty five nautical miles.
Dennis 10K, there's a whole backstory for that that comes with the scenario briefing and the scenario description. Okay. It's a bit risky with F-16s, but I'm going to see if I can hit those two facilities. Probably go after the manufacturing facility, actually, with this group. I don't think uh, my bombs are going to do anything against a bunker. It really is quite in depth. All right, turning in now. I read through the scenario briefing portion of it on last week's stream, Dennis, if you want to go back and look at that. Um, I didn't read the scenario description because it would have taken me half the time of the stream. All right, coming within range. We'll go for the manufacturing facility first. Wait. What's the release altitude? 10,000 feet? Oh, I gotta be up higher. Go up to 15. So it'll pop up, release the bombs, and then dive back down and run away. All right, who's firing? That's the real question. All right. Har Probably that battery. Fire two. And let's see, any others? Not within weapons range. All right, clo keeps closing. Oh, that was a lag spike there. Oh, because I hit recording game. Oops. All right, why aren't you guys firing? All right, there we go. Missiles away at the manufacturing facility. Four away. Okay. Now... Dive back down. Um, okay, so then turn away. They just needed to fire their bombs. That's the only thing that mattered. Probably should have fired another two missiles at the acquisition radar, but I don't know. What are those? And where are those coming from? Those have got to be SA-2s. Maybe? 
All right, we got the other radar. That's good. Perfect. The SA-11 over there finally is waking up. Another fire control radar over there. Looks like unidentified as of yet. Turn in this group. Turn off automatic evasion. Pop another couple missiles at that. Somebody just let off. Oh, we got the target. Perfect. And, oh. Sam right there. Is that a boar sight limit? Fire two and turn to bear. Okay. This group can pull back. Yeah, and I know I'm micromanaging my strikes, but that's what I like to do. Every time I try to do something like this with the mission editor, it never seems to work out right. All right, let's see. Go harms, go, go. Be really nice if I could get that SA-11. All right, so it says we got the fixed dome, right? Harm missed. Well, darn. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn these two that way. And then the plan is to go after the Iranian military base now. Fire all four or all my remaining spice missiles on it. And shoot a couple of missiles at the SA twenty two. Pull that group out of range so they're not going to go direct RTB. And what do we have left? Have two spice missiles left. Is there anything I can just pop them at? Um, just to see what happens. Shoot one at either one of those two radar stations just to see what happens. And then they can turn around. Oh, SA-17 popped up. Go, Harms, go. Uh, just got a satellite pass, that's good. Missed. And a detonation. Um, okay, so...
pull those groups out over the sea, and then I'll RTB them directly. Somebody else just popped up. What the hell? Okay, this is what... Are these, are these actually there? Are these just randomly being generated? Because that missile wasn't even sort of detected. Like, that's just kind of crap if that's just randomly being generated. <clears throat> I mean, that's, what, the fourth time that a, one has just, oh, coincidentally popped up right in front of where one of my units was? And I bet that one's going to miss, too. Oh, well. Stop trying to RTB and go that way. No, don't engage defensive. Go that way. Turn off automatic evasion. Stop trying. No. Go that way. You're literally flying into the middle of a sand battery, you morons. Um, I don't know, Leopard. I mean, that's... I had one of my F-35s lost to a mobile unit that just oh so happened to appear right underneath of it. And then that SA... What is it? SA-22 that now randomly appeared right on top of one of my missiles. Like... I mean, most of these other sites I at least had a hint of with my satellite passes. But maybe, uh, maybe they were just there and they weren't spotted and that battery was just detecting them then? I don't know. But that is really kind of annoying. Um, anyways, those F-16s are withdrawing. We'll get them so they can do a direct return. What do I have here? Oh, group of F-16s with Spice 2000 missiles. All right, that all being said, we are a little past 12. <clears throat> so, which is, I'm, I went about 15 minutes after I was supposed to end, so I made up for the late start. Um, but I think that's going to be the end of today's stream. And then I will pick this up on probably Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a release night stream this week. Um, the, or, sorry, Operation Broken Shield is out on Thursday. So, I, like I said, I don't know if I'm doing a release night stream. I got a kind of a weird week at work next week. Um, but if not, I will definitely be picking this up on next Saturday. <clears throat> and we will continue our airstrikes. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time.